Reasonably so. All right. You? Um, you forgot a question? What was the question? Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have three questions. I have one question. Okay. I, let's say it again. Point. So as he said basically. So, mm-hmm. so your last relationship, relationship. name three brutally honest reasons mm-hmm. that you contributed to that dissolving. Okay, so I don't have three reasons, but you know, men mature way later than women. Oh, yeah. And I do agree that women are ready before men then. So we have absolutely. to sit around and wait around mm-hmm. for a few years. And it's absolutely pathetic for men to like hop on their chair and say, you know, this I'm is ready. it. This is what I want. So, you know, I do think that uh, females get beyond tired of it. Absolutely. Okay. Amen to that. <laughs> but that, that, but you still didn't give a reason as to what you contributed for it dissolving, though. You know, well, what I, the thing is, is that I, d- I don't think men are ready. I, I think I'm ready before they are, and so that's the issue. Is that I'm, like, I don't want to like, be cocky, but I think I'm a little bit more mature than they are. It's, like, to be <laughs> brutally honest, I do. So, so basically, in, in your last relationship, there was nothing you did wrong. Then that's what you're saying. What's going on, everybody? You know what I'm saying? Out here in Miami, it's your boy, Mr. Jones. Man, you know, I, I got one of my favorite. This is my favorite YouTuber right now, man. What's Fresh up, Prince man? CEO. Boy, Fresh Prince CEO in the building. What's good? Hey, Fresh, man. How, how you feel about this recent wave of mm-hmm. celebrity going viral on Worldstar? Like, mm-hmm. how does it feel, bro? Um, I mean, shit, bro. I've been studying YouTube for years, bro, on, like, content. So I already knew, like what to do to make it go viral and then my boy uh, Myron Gaines he's very controversial so with the right setup and the right um, frame bro it's only a matter of time until you go viral and then you know um, just make sure that everyone has good content be consistent that's the way to go man Yo, know, one thing I appreciate about you man is I gotta keep it real like you and Myron y'all was doing your own thing I, I you know how people always say oh solo always criminal putting people on putting people on but I, I didn't put n- none of you guys on. You guys were doing your own thing. I just recommended that you guys talk to each other, bro. Well, actually, uh, without you, bro, none, none of this would be happening because Fresh and Fit literally was, I was doing my thing. Myron was doing his thing with fitness. And I was doing my, my praying thing. But we ha- we both had uh, two audiences. And we said, hey, you know what? Um, Solo said, hey, um, I want you to meet this guy in Brickle. You're in the same area. Uh, you should connect. And I'm like, man, I don't know. He's probably with the same thing. I don't know. But we linked up on Instagram, talked for like an hour. And because of that, that connection, you guys have the Fresh Fit Podcast. So without Solo, man, I, I'm going to keep it a stack. None of this shit be happening. So that's why Solo's still here today. You know what I'm saying? We kind of blew up, but we didn't forget Solo because Solo was there from day one helping us and encouraging us. And so he, said, he even said, uh, yo, you guys going to hit 100K? I'm like, eh, it's whatever, bro. We're just working right now. Look, 200K right now. So, okay. Facts. And by the time you guys see this, they might be at half a million. You know what I'm saying? Facts. <laughs> Um, like, how do you? Because Nino Brown came on yesterday, right? And he was talking we about business facts. But how do you? How do you like? And he said, "Yo, I I enjoy seeing you guys right now, humble during the journey, right? How do you stay humble during the process? Because a lot of people, and I've told you this, fresh, when they get a smaller following than what you guys got, mm. they start losing their way. They start acting bougie, Hollywood. How do you stay the same, bro? How do you not switch up and become Hollywood? Hold on. Speaking of being humble, let me. Let me show y'all niggas what time really is. Right? Oh, 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 he got the, oh, oh. What's up, the LBs real quick. Oh, oh. So, I'm going to say this, man, right? Okay, I'ma okay. Say, I'm going to say this, bro, right? So, it's one thing to be humble, right? It's another thing to understand that you're on a journey. So, yes, we're definitely humble. We don't brag about certain things. Obviously, you know, we're the number one dating podcast in the world, but we keep it chill. But do you know why? It's because... Remember, guys, this journey is a long path. It's not one big win and it's over. It's a marathon. So you might have some big, big wins, big successes, but it's not the end of the road. And guess what? For you to stay relevant and on top, you got to act like you're broke. Act like you're nobody. Because what happens is people get complacent. Oh, yeah, I went viral. Da, 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 I'm lit. And they stop being consistent. And at that point, you lose traction, you lose momentum, and people forget about you. But if you're always hungry, always going for the next thing, what happens is your goals, like let's say you want to hit 200K on YouTube, right? And you're at 50K. When you hit 200K, what's your next goal? 500K. Always have another goal, so you have another market to go to. Because if you stay complacent, bro, I'm telling you right now, you're going to fail. 
So that's why we're humble all the time, man. We keep it chill. We show respect to everybody because at the end of the day, yeah, we kind of blew up, but we're not um, where we want to be. And secondly, if you get complacent, it's the end of your journey, bro. So, right. One thing I, I like about you, Fresh, is you, you're not afraid to be critical and get criticism, right? Mm -hmm. um, how do you how do you take that? Because I know if I were to say, yo, Fresh, I think you could do this better, you, you wouldn't take it personal, but a lot of cats would at your level because you might be like, yo, why should I listen to Solo? I'm bigger than him. Mm -hmm. Why is he trying to give me advice? Or, or do you think, nah, do you think, nah, I shouldn't take advice from Solo because I'm bigger than him? Listen, What's I'll, your take on that? I'll bro? say this, man. I can learn from the janitor. Mm -hmm. I can learn from the, the, the maid. I can learn from the CEO. I can learn from my mother, my family, and friends. If you think you're big, bigger than everybody in life, you literally kind of like uh, put yourself in a bubble. And in that bubble, it's an echo chamber. Look, I don't know everything. I know a lot of things, but I don't know everything. So you might know, you might know how to uh, run ads to videos that I never looked at. So who am I to say, oh, I don't even listen to you because you're smaller than me. No, bro, you might, you might have that key that might push me to the next level. But mm. if I'm, if, if I'm, how to put this? If I'm being arrogant and saying, oh, I know everything, then you start growing. Wait, hold on, is that a snow bunny? It is. Oh. You wanna holler at her real quick? Hi, how are you? Good. Good. Oh, Keep walking. Yeah, yo! I actually know her, bro. You do? Yeah. <laughs> uh, she, she was on the podcast. Oh, for real? Yeah, the, the two Canadian What's... girls. All right, guys, as always, I'm gonna give y'all a quick trip breakdown. So I'm in Miami again. Again and again. <laughs> and this time, man, I stayed at the W on Brickle. This is my view. Last night, this was crazy. You know, it's Memorial Day weekend, so there were a bunch of cars. You feel me? You can see that up here. There's a plane. It's a nice view. I mean, there's no water view, but still dope. Um, and so here's my room. This is a king room. I wanted to get a corner, John, but, you know, I booked about two months out. No, not two months out. A month and a half, right? And um, got it up for about 200 a night or so. I love the bathroom. Hey, yo, the bathroom is a trip. Because they got this little, uh, hold on, let me turn this on here. They got this little Baudet type thing. I don't know what that is. Then they got the mirror. The mirror. No, I'm saying. Oh, hold on, we, we all doing the drink. All right, let's, let's go. I appreciate you buying this for me, man. Let's, let's get it, let's get it. Oh yeah. It's gonna be a rough shift tonight. Uh, I might have to be the backup cameraman. Yeah. It's gonna be a work lot tonight. <laughs> See if you work. I mean, but I'm, 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 I'm lucky though. Like the, with the podcast, I'm, I only work for three hours. So. You only work for your voice, right? Right. Nobody well, gets well, to see you. Well, what do you mean they don't get to see me? I'm, oh, I'm gonna be on tonight too. You're gonna be on film yeah, tonight. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be behind the scenes and on film. Yes. Yeah, right. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but I, see, I didn't want to tell you that though, because I didn't want no, you to be like, yo, you didn't tell he, us. That. He, he capping, saying, you know what I mean? Said something different. So, what would you say on your podcast tonight to see if a couple, right? That you do. I mean, there's things. gonna be girls on there, so we, we're gonna talk about single girls. Yeah, yeah. What about married men, married women? I mean, they don't need a dating podcast. That's more like a married. That's where you step in. <laughs> that's why you got to start that podcast. Because oh, there's a there's a big lane for that. A lot of for oh, married men. Yeah, because a lot of married men out here, they, they, they're losing that excitement. Like, how do you rekindle that when, the, like, you mentioned it goes away, but how do you rekindle it when the fire, like, starts to die down? No, how do you rekindle this shit when the fire starts to die down? Right, Isn't it. that a good question? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Because a lot of guys, they get into these relationships, and then when the honeymoon phase is over, they're like, okay, I'm done. Yeah, when but that's relationships... why you only marry the one you want to marry. Right. You feel me? Right? Married two times. Two times. Wait, two at the same time? Polygamy? No, hell no. That's that's a different type of fucking Utah thing. It's a, um, I heard about it, though. I saw it on Netflix. Right. No, we're not We're not going to be married two times. I, but but, I, but I, you, I, you mentioned to me, like, marriage is ebbs and flows. Remember you told me you, you guys first start off hot, then it cools down, then you pick it up again, but then it plateaus. You listen. Yeah. That's right. 
Fam, you just think I'm just dueling them up? Yeah, of course I'm listening. So to I got to ask you this question before I answer your question, right? Okay. Do you have kids? No, I, me personally, I don't know. So I do. Right. And that's marriage, right? Marriage yeah. goes up, comes down, goes back up again, comes right. back down again, right? Right. But the beautiful thing about marriage is that if you know who the fuck you're marrying it, right. marrying is uh, the partner you're supposed to be with, but right? See, I think and you can edit that. <laughs> I think a lot of people nowadays don't know what marriage entails. So you're supposed to be single? No, no, is no. Is that what you're saying? No, what I'm saying is, is they jump into marriage thinking it's like a... Oh, it's just gonna be us going through this. Get a picket house with a picket fence and dogs and kids. Like a lot of people have like this. Have you been married before? No, but I'm telling you what what people's perception might want to get I know, married. But the only perception you would know from that As is a either man. a book or that you lived it. So I'm asking you, have you been married? I, I've never been married. No, but I'm no. speaking from a, a single man's what point. What would you expect marriage to being like for a single I, man? Okay, so. I don't expect marriage to be this romanticized version, like some people think, where it's like you get this house and the 2.5 kids, the picket fence, and it's not. You, it, that's what I'm saying. What but, do you expect marriage to be? My expectation would be more so, number one, before I even get married, having a conversation with my future wife. I mean, I if I, and and I don't. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't believe in the American system of marriage because I don't either. We're agreed. There. I but promise you, you that. I promise you. I promise you But you, you married. That. No, I am married. <laughs> yeah, right. But I don't agree with that either. Because you, you never asked me my background. Keep going. But so, so for me personally, if I were to get married. What would you expect? What is your expectation? Okay, my expectation. But I got to first give you context as to my beliefs in marriage. Because I don't believe in the american system version of marriage i believe that's marriage um you shouldn't be penalized if you guys decide to get a divorce and then you get now stuck. you're going to the extreme i know i know i, I am i, I am. want you to talk about marriage okay okay so what i expect a man from marriage. and woman okay. being together what i expect is what would you want you what, never... what would i want yeah, yeah I'm, I'm telling you i'm All telling right, you I'll show that. what i would want is a, a, a wife who is loyal okay can that's raise my dream. can raise our children to get well together i mean you know but we have similar values you know what i mean similar type of moral beliefs do you mind if i ask you what those moral values are yeah yeah certainly so um a woman who believes that you know that in regards to how children should be married like i'm a spiritual guy i so, am too so somebody who who's got you know believes in god Okay. You know what I mean? That's I mean, fine. if you don't, if she's atheist, it probably is not going to work. Agreed. What if she is Christianity? Right. Or, or Protestant or whatever you choose to believe. What if she is your belief? What if you met her in the church? Right. Well, I, I haven't been to church in a minute, but. What do you expect hey. from What do a I girl? expect? I, I expect her to be loyal. Is that the only thing? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I, I, I expect her to. Um, be comfortable being in her feminine energy because she's pretty <laughs> what is feminine energy i'm well, trying to well, i'm trying to understand that well, feminine well, energy is what being a female well, this, it's the opposite of being masculine so i get that so I being, that. being I that. when i say feminine energy she's gonna be the head of the household yeah. she's she's gonna be when i say the head of the household i'm talking about the head of what's going on in regards to That's you know the, the kitchen time. cooking cleaning stuff like that I'm, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. I'm going to be the head of providing. So how, how do you keep the, the fire going in a, in a long-term marriage when things seem to fizzle out? You introduce her to things that will spark her, right? I do something different in my belief. I say, hey, if I'm boring, welcome to something interesting. You get me? Right. But I, I guess the question I'm, I'm asking you is, there's some guys, they lose that spark or magic with their wife, and they don't know how to get it back, and then they kind of give up. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I do. So how do you, if those guys don't have anything new to introduce their wives to, then how do you keep that going? I am the new, right? That's why <laughs> she married me. No, I'm not talking about you specifically. I'm no, about, I'm right, telling you, right. the only one I married. Right. Gotta keep it different. 
I you mean, gotta be original. Okay. You gotta be something different every night. Right. Every night. But be the same person at the same time. Okay. You get that, right? It makes you tingle in a different yeah, spot. I get it, right? Yeah. So if she used to being picked up, if she used to being on a tablet, right. if she used to hanging her butt cheeks out, remind her. <laughs> <laughs> of being someone different. All right. But yes, being the same. Welcome to my wife. Okay. That's the best intro I can give you. I'll say it again. I, I Welcome. Was to my wife.